We have new developments tonight on a deadly hit and run accident that took the life of a Chicago woman. Hannah Hayes is being remembered tonight as a tireless activist for change in her community. Her husband is speaking out about this tragedy as Chicago police search for the driver. NBC 5's V. Wynn has much more. I miss her. She was my companion, she was my lover, she was my best friend. Jesse Sinaiko says his world is shattered after losing the love of his life. The memories we have are, you know, they're a lifetime. And uh, they won't go away, but it's tough right now. It's very tough. A memorial now marks the spot where his wife Hannah Hayes was tragically killed Monday night. I texted her, it's going to haunt me forever. Uh, I said, are you okay? Two minutes later, the doorbell rang and it was a cop. The 62-year-old was just a block away from home when police say the driver of a stolen car blew through a stop sign and T-boned her near 49th and Drexel. The suspects ran away from the scene. They were just driving around acting like idiots. As a result of that, they've ended a life and devastated two others. Her husband told NBC5 she was inspired to change the world through her work as a writer and activist fighting for education and immigration rights. She didn't care about recognition. She didn't care about uh, accolades. None of that mattered to her. Keep your eyes on the prize was one of her big phrases. Hayes's work is deep rooted in Chicago. Her articles published in the Sun Times. She worked on the political campaign for former Mayor Harold Washington and was committed to helping kids as part of the local school council at Revis Elementary. She had uh, the biggest heart of anybody I've ever known. She she was a tremendous mom. Her husband says her death is a tremendous loss for the community, a void that can never be replaced. His hope now is justice for his wife. V1 NBC5 News. Oh, that's so